Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jags. It's Thursday, August 31st, 2017, day one. I'm Taylor. And I'm Grace. And for lunch today is breakfast for lunch. Waffle sticks, breaded chicken pieces, macaroni and cheese, tater tots, fruit bar, salad bar, and assorted milk. Breakfast Tuesday is French toast sticks, three sticks, pork sausage, patty, scrambled eggs, assorted 100% juice, fruit bar variety, and cereal variety, assorted milk. If you are interested in being part of the Uber Club, for Wigwam Creek, please come to an informational meeting on Wednesday, September 6th from, from 7.30 to 8 o'clock a.m. or 3.05 to 3.30 p.m. in room 805. You will only need to attend one meeting from Mrs. Storch, room 805. Upcoming events. The first is teacher in-service, no school for students, and the fourth is Labor Day, no school. Have a safe weekend. Have a great day, Jags. Good morning, Jaguars. We're here to talk to you guys about stress at school. Sometimes when you're at school, you feel some stress. Maybe it's a test, maybe it's uh, homework, maybe it's a problem with some friends. So we're gonna talk about that today and what to do when you're feeling that stress. So let's, let's take a look at the brain a little bit. So we all have a brain and sometimes at school we feel stress. So what will happen is in your brain you'll go from what we call executive state. Executive state is where we want to be. That's our problem solving part of our brain that makes sure we can handle anything that comes about. But if we get stressed or we get upset about something, we drop into what we call emotional state. So emotional state can look a whole bunch of different ways. One of the ways is it can look kind of stressed. Do you want to come on in here and show us what uh, stressed out looks like? What is stressed out? You're feeling stress. That's some good acting right there. Very good. Or sometimes you're feeling angry, right? And you're and you're comes out that way. You want to show us angry? <laughs> that's that's some good anger right there. So what do you do when that happens? It's very simple. It sounds very simple, but you're probably not doing it. You breathe. You take three deep breaths. I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds ridiculous. But by doing that in a stressful situation, it will bring you from that emotional state back into that executive state. So let's try it. Teachers, please allow students to stand up next to their desks right now. Come on, you guys. Everybody stand up. All right, here's what we're going to do. You can put your hand on the top of your stomach right here, and you're going to breathe in deep through your nose into your stomach. Let's all breathe in right now. Really deep. And now breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Push all that last bit of air out. One more. In. And back out. All right, give someone near you a high five. Awesome. Back to your seat. So this is a simple little trick. Nobody needs to know what you're doing. You can take those breaths nice and quietly anytime you're feeling stressed. Sometimes it takes a few more than three, but this is a great trick. I use it all the time. Have a great day, Jaguars.